So we're pretty clear. Uh, we're just seeing some widespread drizzle out there in the northern portion of the state. And uh, this may ramp up a little bit, uh, but actually looking at rain totals already as of the last six hours or so, some areas already seeing almost two inches of rain, uh, really looking at like an inch and a half or so uh, for Mason City as well in Algona. Uh, and this is really only going to continue to build up. Fortunately, like we've talked about uh, with the drought conditions out there, uh, this isn't really expected to cause any flooding issues issues just because uh, really the ground needs this rain. So it's really going to soak uh, anything up that we see, but we are under an enhanced risk for severe weather today and most of the state seeing that slight risk as well. Uh, so that does just indicate that some of these storms later today, they're going to increase in severity uh, and in strength. And so talking about the storm impacts, really what we're paying attention to is damaging winds and large hail that's possible. Uh, really the winds uh, are the main focus with storms later today. The big thing today though is because of the system that we saw wash through this morning and a kind of widespread drizzle that's hanging on out there, depending on how early additional storms start up, that will indicate uh, whether or not the atmosphere has a chance to really recover uh, and provide uh, conditions for severe storms later today and later tonight. So we're going to keep track of how conditions play out, uh, playing out that rain. You can see starting at about six o'clock later this evening. That's when we could see some uh, isolated in rounds, right? basically several rounds of thunderstorms start up, especially in this central northern portion of the state, kind of just a line of separate cells of thunderstorms. And you can see that again, it's just numerous rounds starting again at eight o'clock and then playing it out a little further, being dry for the most part in that northern portion of the state and then things kind of uh, popping up down south in those overnight and early morning hours tomorrow. So really we're kind of looking at that six to nine o'clock, maybe even a little later than that window uh, for some strong storms and then playing this out again further going into tomorrow as well. We'll just have lingering chances of rain, but really uh, nothing too exciting or as exciting as we're expecting for later today. Playing out the rest of those rain totals again, like I said, we've already seen an inch and a half or so, maybe even two inches in some parts of rainfall uh, and so we could see a additional inch or two for some parts. So just locally heavy rainfall, uh, especially as the system pushes north and eastward. So uh, again, really just beneficial rain for most of us and tracking that out even further uh, additional rain across the state. So highs across the state today, much more seasonable. You can see a little bit cooler where they're hanging on to that rainfall today. We'll see about 90 degrees here in the metro area. Again, we'll see maybe some showers pop up this afternoon, uh, but really we should stay dry for the most part until later tonight and overnight that we do have some strong storms that we are expecting, really those winds being the main concern. Uh, so so again, be weather alert later today, have multiple means of weather communication tomorrow, some rain lingering, and then a return of nicer warm conditions into the weekend.